Hi everyone, my name is Mike Grzynski and I'm a video marketing specialist here at TechSmith Corporation. And today I wanted to quickly show you how to get started editing your own video resume project. So uh, we have the footage shot and we're ready to begin editing. Uh, so in this editor, uh, I'm using Camtasia Studio and this is Camtasia for the Mac. And uh, it's a great video editor uh, we sell here at TechSmith. And um, really for this, I mean, you can use any video editor. Um, this one would work great uh, you know, for what we're, do, for what we're trying to do today. So uh, first thing I want to do is I want to import my footage. So I have a clip here on the desktop. It's one of our former interns, Rebecca. And so I'm going to take that and just drag it onto the timeline here. So now we have her on the timeline. And um, first thing I want to do is I want to adjust uh, the, the editing dimensions. And what I mean by that is the size of the video that we're going to output as the final product. So in Camtasia, you can go, you can right click and click adjust canvas. And uh, as you can see, we already have it at 1280 by 720, and that's good. Uh, you can see it also here that we have it automatically preset uh, to different sizes and, um, you know, iPad, iPhone for web. Uh, so we're going to stick at this 720. Uh, it's a good, it's a good screen size, good screens, good screen size that uh, it's not too big and uh, the web uh, handles it very well and it'll keep the file size down um, as along with keeping quality up. So that's what we're looking for. So we'll click apply. And um, now um, what we want to do here is for editing, we want to find parts where she starts. So we want to listen to this quickly. So it looks like she starts right about there. So I'm going to make a cut there. And for uh, Camtasia for Mac, we use Command T to make a quick cut. And so she's talking for a little bit. And let's see, she messes up there a little bit. So um, so it's going to happen, you know, shooting your res video resume, you're going to screw up. So my best advice for editing a project like this is give yourself enough room as like we shot here with Rebecca. We have headroom and we have enough room that we can zoom in. And I can show you what I mean by that here. So if we open up our properties tab, we can see that this video clip is at 60, about 67% scale. So what that means is now, um, if we go back here to our timeline, if we want to start in a wide shot like this, and she screws up right here. So we'll go back to that point. Let's say you have a good, good line there, you like, you want to keep it. We'll cut it again and we'll pan forward to where she picks up again. And looks like a right about there. So to make that transition smooth, you can cut at that point and get rid of that middle part. Now when we move that over, you're going to notice there's going to be a little bit of a jump cut and uh, we don't want that. So to make it like a smooth transition, we want to select it and then we can increase this to 100%. Because since we shot in 1920 by 1080 and we're editing in smaller frame dimensions, it will give us this flexibility to zoom in without losing quality. So if we go back and watch that again. It's a nice cut. It, it, it doesn't look as obvious as when you just cut with the same scale. Um, having that flexibility to zoom in like that is really helpful. So you can seamlessly blend together clips and it goes a long way in helping the final video. So after you go through, um, edit your whole video, we can we want to export it to the web. So Camtasia, you're allowed to share directly to uh, a few different options. Uh, Screencast.com is one of our hosting free hosting site. Um, Camtasia Relay is one another one of our products. And you can go actually straight to YouTube out of Camtasia. And so that's why I think it's a great, a great software tool uh, for editing you know, this type of project. So if you're just trying to get straight to the web, we allow that flexibility very easily. So um, really quick, I just wanted to show you how to get started. So I hope that was helpful. And um, if you have any feedback or questions, uh, make sure to post um, on the blog. Thanks.